Alright, so I'm showing you my environmental engineering job. Everything looks all fine and dandy on the surface, right? Some of you guys are like thinking in your mind, this is like the best job in the world for me. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. But I want to be like realistic here. So I want to show you the bad things about this job. The things that I hate about this job. And I want to be like very truthful, very blunt about this. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. I want you guys to see the full picture as to what my job pertains to. Like what I do and like maybe why I don't like it. Some of you guys might like some of these points. Some of you guys might not. Some of you guys might not even realize that some of these are bad points to begin with. So again, I'm just trying to be very blunt and not sugarcoat anything. So the first thing I hate about this job is that it's 50% field work, 50% office job. In some of my previous videos, I showed that I was doing like actual field work, doing actual manual labor. So this is a bad point to it. If you think that you're gonna go into this job, sitting at your office, in like air conditioned room all the time, you're wrong. Out there, I'm in the field sometimes, it's like really hot outside. You're carrying like 50 pound metal barrels. It's hard, it's heavy work. You're gonna be doing some things that are hard manual labor, doing things that you're not comfortable with doing. You're gonna be sweating outside in the field, doing these things because they're absolutely necessary for you to do. So just keep that in mind when you're applying. Sometimes when they ask you, like in the job description, you must be able to lift this many pounds of whatever. That could be true. Next again is that it's 50% field work, 50% office job. In the office, sometimes it's boring work. It's mundane. You're doing the same thing over and over again. Let's say you come into the office at like 8 o'clock in the morning, check your email, and then you're just sitting in the office from 8 to 12 until lunchtime just checking your email. Basically, you're staying at the computer the whole day. Some days are out in the field where you get to go out and stretch. Some days you're in the office the whole day, and it can just be really boring. It's just, you know, you're sitting down just typing away, just like mindlessly in zombie mode, like, what am I doing with my life? It's just boring overall. Like, there's no excitement because all you're doing is just staring at the computer screen. And so it's just boring paperwork, boring email replies, and it's just the same thing over and over again some days. Again, some days. Some days you're out in the field, that could be exciting for you, but overall, for the most part, 50% field work, 50% office days. If it's like 100% office days for the whole week, then you're just going to get really tired. The next reason why I might hate this job is that there's not really much room to grow. So when I first came in, the first three months or so, I learned a lot. And they sort of pushed me to learn everything, and everything was sort of crammed all in one spot. But once you're done learning, once you finish that learning curve, there's not really much new that you can learn. Because everything else is mundane. Everything is the same thing over and over again. Once you've had that rhythm, you just understand it and then there's really not much new that you can learn. So yes, you're in the office, you're typing away the reports, but then once you've finished like a whole year's worth of that, or you know, once you get the hang of things, everything else is just doing the same thing over and over again. So maybe you do this for one month, then you know, one year passes, there's really maybe not too much excitement, depending on the field of work. What more can you improve on? You can't learn, you can't jump up to a new position because there's not much you can do. Like yes, you can learn different departments, you can learn different like rules and regulations, but they don't change that much. And so you're just sort of stuck in your own bubble. And the only thing you can do is just maybe jump to a different company or a different position, but doing the same thing though. You might get paid more, but you're not gonna be like switching a whole different field, learning a new perspective, having a whole new mindset. And like it's really just earning more, but not learning more. The next thing I don't like about, and again, this is just my company, is that there's no one within my age group. So I am relatively young, 26 years old. There's not many people within my age group. Most of them are like pretty old. Sorry to say this. They're, you know, they've been there for years. They have like many years of experience, but there's not many new people who I can meet. I sort of feel like left out. I feel like I'm in my own little bubble. So yes, they've got years of experience and they can help me out, but we just don't really have that connection. Like it's not so friendly because you know, they, they're in their own generation, I'm in like the millennial group. Yeah, I'm just like the only one within my age group, and I just feel like sort of lonely. But again, this could just be my company. Your company could be different. You might have young people who are just graduating who are also joining this field, although they do want some people who are like old enough to have experience to teach someone, which is probably why they have so few young people here. But again, that's just my company. The youngest person who's within my age group is probably like 34, and you know, that's still not even old. It's just like they have their own family, so we have like very different, you know, lifestyles. So it's still just hard to relate to them. I can always ask them questions and talk about life and stuff, but it's just hard to have someone who's like way too different of a lifestyle than mine. And lastly, I'm not sure if this is even a point, but it is sort of related to what we sort of talking about last time was that because there's no one within my age group, there's also no new people who can join. So because engineers are pretty stable jobs, no one really wants to leave. So let's say you get this engineering job, that's a secure job for you. They've been there for like 30 plus years. So who wants to leave that job when it's so stable, especially in this economy right now? 
So, like, once you get an engineering job, especially in the government, like, you're set for life. And you don't want to leave that job. It's like a secure job for you. Who in the right mind would want to leave this job? And because it's like a stable job and it's like pretty mundane, pretty boring for the most part, nothing really changes, so you don't really need new people to come and go. There's no new positions that are offered. So let's say there's like five spots for an engineer and then, you know, that was like 20 years ago. More than likely, 20 years later, right now in the present, or even 20 years in the future, there's still only going to be like five spots. Overall, it's not going to be like, oh, we need like four times as much people. No, that's not the case. They only need those five original spots. Maybe when, once someone retires or someone leaves, someone switches to a different company, then they might like open it up. But for the most part, you're only going to have those five original spots well into the future. So which is why you're not going to see many new people. You're not going to see many new faces. You're going to be doing the same thing over and over again for the next 20 years, which is why I hate it. It's not innovative. It's not really productive. It's not maybe too efficient either. You're not going to be seeing new people. So you're just going to have a really the same mindset for years. And at least to me and my generation, we sort of need, you know, new insights. We need new people, new mindsets in order to get like new inspiration. If you want to like innovate, you got to have new things, new problems, which is why I really endorse like new changes. But with this job, like it's the same thing over and over again. Very boring, which is why, you know, it's not so enjoyable, at least to my perspective. So hopefully this helps you in deciding whether or not you like it. If you're okay with the whole stable job, doing the same thing over and over again, this could be for you. You know, everyone has their own lifestyle and their own choices and preferences, but this is not like something that I wake up every single morning saying, oh, this is going to be the best boring day ever. I need some change. Sorry to say that. I know it feels like I'm complaining during like the worst times ever because millions are unemployed. I should be happy with my job and I am, but again, this is just something that you should realize coming in when you pick this job that you might be stuck here. You might be stuck doing the same thing over and over again and you know you might not like it so this is just a warning all right that's all i have to say about this topic for now there might be more points in the future as i learn and grow more then i'll probably rant more about it see ya